We're back on a little course now. Uh, unfortunately, this side, as well as the, the water Luke has got, it's got a broken spring in there. So you can see the springs should be broken, should be sat in here or somewhere. We go to the other side. This one's not broken. See so yeah, that's where it should sit. So nice and clean. So I'll show you. It definitely looks like that water pump. To me, up there, it's looking a bit wet. Up in there. So I'll get this cover off now. Oh, you can actually see the coolant actually. You can hear it. We'll get it turned off, we'll get the belt off. It's actually got two leaks. It's actually leaking from the thermostat housing as well as. So it's got a leak right there. If you can see that, right on the front of the thermostat housing. Right? And then if you look at the water pump, it's actually running out the building as well. So you can see it dripping out of the, the pump onto my phone now. <laughs> so there you go. Right, so I definitely need a water pump, a thermostat. There's not any extra lever on the thermostat, it's attached to the water pump anyway, so it is a bit more expensive on these Fox or models for whatever. There is two electrical wires going into the thermostat, I'm not sure what it is, but... So, I'll put it in there and check the oil, because I know I had a litre of oil put in it yesterday. Right, so we know it's about the coolant leak, right? Um, see all that remnants there, dripped all over there, and you can see the cup. Pink fluid, so we've seen it coming straight out of the water pump. So I was told when I started the car up as well, brought the car in, it said engine power reduced. Okay, so no lights on it, just said engine power reduced. So I've no idea why that's doing that. Yeah, I'd need to put the machine on it to be honest with you. Um, don't need to do that for the bits what we've got here. It might be something to do with this, but <laughs> so I was told they had to put a litre of oil in it because there was absolutely nothing in it. I think they may have been wrong because if they've only put a litre in it, this engine holds 4.2 litre. There's way, much, way too much in it, so it's going to need to be drained down anyway, so I think it needs a service anyway, so, but, aye, way too much in, so if you're checking your oil, do it on the flat, do it from cold, don't start the engine, and then check it for cold, don't start it, check it for cold, and then, no, if you're not happy with the level, start it, run it up and go, right, now it's at the perfect level, now that it's up at temp, so maybe here, if it's cold, start it, let it run for 20 minutes, heats up, goes to there, that's perfect, so be careful putting oil in. Too much, it's just as bad as not enough. Right, let's get the wee cursor. I'll show you how you do the tension of on these ones. Push down, see the big spring? Okay, just a big spring, this one, so we'll get this belt off. Right, belt's off. Naked. Get the pulley off it. Right, so that's that off. Pipes off the front. Got a bucket under it. There wasn't much coming out at all. A couple of drips. Um, you can see, definitely knackered. Burns knackered in there. So, I've also taken that clamp off as well. I will try and turn it. Um, sometimes you're better just taking that off and twisting it. To be honest with you. So there's a lot of bolts in this, and a lot of them are different sizes. Quite hard to remember where they all go, so what I do is just put them in there. Can't go wrong. <laughs> so one at a time, bum bum bum, in there, and then you know where they go. Leave them all in there until you go to fit it. Right, all cleaned up. Ready for the new water pump to be mated. So the coolant that's left in the engine doesn't look very good, to be honest with you. Like it's mostly water, so I don't know if this has been looking for you well. Um, might not be, might just be rust or whatever that's making it turn that colour, but it certainly looks pinker up the bow. Um, but, um, we'll crack on, we'll get this on, we'll drain a wee bit of oil out, and then we'll see what's going on with it, hopefully, hopefully it's all good. It does have a, a intermittent message for engine power reduced uh, on the dash, no lights on mind you, but there's no coolant on it, the oil level's very high, so... We'll hopefully uh, take care of that and fixing this. Well, not the oil level, but the engine reduced power, whatever it means. Right, so, new water pump, new belt, uh, new deco belt, and put that back on, put the sensor wire back on, put that sensor on there, new thermostat. There's this old one there, I couldn't get one of the bolts, it's absolutely rotten. So, I just left it in there and replaced it with another one. So, nice new hardware in it. Um, 
So belt's back on, everyone's back on here, we need to put the mount back on it, that's a pain to be honest with you on these now. Never used to be that difficult, I've no idea why, but a bit of a pain now to get out, so anyway, get those bits there, the cover, and like I say, we'll then take some oil out it and run it and see what goes on. Hopefully it's all good, hopefully it's all good once it's got its cooling up to the right level and there's no dramas. It says it on there, it says 14 newton meters, 14 newton meters of force it takes. Um, where did they go? I've lost it in my anger. Hold on, let me find it. Right, so, rather disappointing that, like, eh? Uh, and that's quite a new one as well. So, old top boy, snap on. Really, really good, man. They don't usually shear unless something's really, really tight. Right, I managed to get it with a little love tap. So, I'll drain a bit out. Right, so we managed to get that sump plug out, so filled the coolant up, it's running. Just sat that back there and there, so we need to change that air filter if all goes well. Um, so we'll get the air filter changed if all goes well. So I right, should put this up. Right, so... That's coming off anyway. That's better. Nothing flying out it anymore. That's not leaking, is it? I don't know, because it's new. Yeah, I think it's just been what's run out the pipe as we've put it on, probably. So, yeah, hopefully she's going to be all good. The engine sounds alright. I'm going to need the exhaust in the future. Uh, it's okay for the time being, but. So, we'll let it run now. See the modification to the push clip, I like that as well, that's good. So that one is up in here. And uh, I thought I've never seen a bolt in there on a corsa before. <laughs> Just a wee mod, wee modification. I'll see if I can get that back in. I think the car's just realised, wait a minute, I'm going like the car path, nobody's wearing the seatbelt. So that is a push club, right? Don't think, Jesus, that animal's just hammered that bolt in. It's a push club with a bolt in it. <laughs> so, whoever was doing it last obviously lost the wee bit, so, then that bit holds that up to there, and then once that panel's on, you know, there's bolts that hold it all together, so, ah, uh, see a water pump there knackered. Uh, so, I've still got a few bits to put on it, spring. Oil filter, air filter. That was the belt. And the old barling. And that new subplug washer seat tells you on there. 14 Newton metres with a torque wrench. It'll go over crazy. To be honest, it's probably just been. I don't know, stuck or something. I don't know. But. Uh, Skid a wee love tap, away she went. So. That's one of those things. Eh? We can't kind of blame the previous mechanic for breaking my socket, I suppose. But. Uh, can't kind of blame yourself. So. There you go. So we'll let this one up the temp and we'll just check it. If everything's all good, we'll crack on with the rest of those bits. Yeah, I'm starting to show a temperature now. I've got Mr. Brake. He's actually Mr. Throttle Pedal today. I have heard the fan coming on a couple of times. I wonder if it's just coming on because it doesn't know what the temp was because the fan, the, the gauge is just lit up. Yeah, it's probably been like a, oh, put the fan on as a precaution. Now an old ECU calculates, he's not seeing what he's wanting to see, so. We shall check these Wesley pipes. Still cold. Cold. Still a bit cold. Yep, we're up to 90 now, so hopefully the thermostat will open soon. Hey, we're up to temp now, but mm, it looks like we're starting to bubble in there. It's starting to bubble in there. Come on. 
fun should be coming on. Getting to it. It's not me, yeah. It's hot. Oh, that's a fine gun. That's probably just the water for common actually. Round it bubbling. So all we'll do is we'll turn them back off. And we'll all continue to give it a portion. Just to make sure. We'll point serves an engine that's overheating. There, I think you haven't seen the fan go. We'll let it run for a bit longer and just see what it does. I know we're planning to oil in this because we drained a bit out to make it <laughs> safe. Ah, uh, no, I need to go home now. Damn you. A lot of blood for one week, cut, eh? And that was with a blaster on. Blasters are running low, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> hey, that's good. Little blows going like the clappers. I've been up and down to the shop as well. Uh, and obviously, you've seen we were holding it on a fast idle, you know, 3000, 5000 RPM, so we're really getting at the beans. You know, trying to get it to overheat. Not want it to overheat, but you know, trying to make sure it's not going to overheat. Uh, no, like I say, there's no point firing a spring on it and then <laughs> doing the service. Hey, yes, you done. It doesn't even make it to Bell's Hill, so it's been cutting on and off for a good while now, the fan. Heaven seems to be going as it should, so fingers crossed. There's no damage done. Obviously, with a leaking thermostat, a leaking water pump. Uh, I was told there was no oil in it, but when it came in, there was loads of oil in it. Seems all good there. Seems all good. Hosey's having the old fresh rise to death or nothing like that, so that seems pretty good to me. So I think we'll crack on, eh? I think we'll crack on now. So we take all this back off. It's just sat there at the minute. Um, and we'll get that broken spring done. Uh, that van there be broken. So I've already lubed it all up. Hey, I've still got it running. Fan's going, so got the panel off. We'll get into there. We'll get a bit of lube on there, actually. That looks a bit rotten, doesn't it? So. There's my Fortron WD Ultra Lube. Always good with lube. That more on here, that more on that, and it all by link. It was a pain to get off. A bit of lube on there. And done the screen wash, done all the hinges, on the latch, all that kind of jazz. Actually, I thought that one up there. I forgot about that one. There you go. It's that one done. Nice and springy, that's what we want. So I think we can switch it off now, that fan's been going on and off, on and on, on and off, so I don't think there's any dramas there. We'll unplug the machine from the car, I don't want the battery going flat. Um, I think... 
Uh, we'll put it up and drain oil now. Right, so we've got the spring in the oil and filter to do. Uh, we've already drained the oil at it last night before we left. So we left a drip tray underneath it just dripping away, so every bit of oil should be out of it. So take that panel off, give that a lube, give everything a lube in there. Um, we'll get it all stripped off, we'll get the oil and filter done first, um, and then we'll come back on with the spring. Right, that's the strut off it. You have 18mm nut there. You can lock the top of the strut with a 9mm socket, and uh, you're not going to need any. Show you. You're not going to need the spring compressor for taking it off, that's for sure. So, let me see. Oh. Oop, that's not going to work. There you go, you can see it there. So you can see, like, this not get any tension, it's broken. So, you don't need the compressor for taking it off, but you need the compressor to put the new one in. That, there you go, that's it. Okay, so keep the bumps up, keep going these bits. Change out the old bar link. Thing. No open for a while there, so we'll crack on and get this one changed. Right, one new spring. We'll get it fitted back on now. Um, we've already put the oil and filter in it, we'll just get the air filter to change after we've fitted this. Obviously, we'd run it up to temp yesterday, left it running for quite a while, maybe about an hour, you know, plus we're really, really working the engine, loading it up, you know, revving it up, making it work, uh, try to get it hot. Not trying to overheat it, but trying to make sure it doesn't overheat. And the fans seem to be clicking on and off, on and on, on and off, so that was good. So I went even went and walked in the shop, you know. Says the wife then goes round, switch it off. And uh, come back, it was always good. So we just cracked on, drained oil, and here we are. So hopefully it should be all good. So, we had to cut that anti-wheel bar link off. I think my torch is going flash, flat, because it seems to be flashing away. Yeah, it must be going flat. So... Uh, new anti roll bar link as well. There you go, hey, disco, disco, disco. So, new spring, new anti roll bar link. We'll get the roll back on it. We'll get the wiper panel and the wipers back on it. We've already did the screen wash, oil's already in it. Just get the air filter to do. So, man, we quality. We'll get this filter fitted. Hey, right, so wheel's back on, wiper panel's back on. Got the wipers to put on. I'll show you what we do with these, right? So, get your long wiper, which is your driver's one. And you can see there, there is a nice big line there. Right, so there's a nice big map there that you can follow. Right, where that's been sat, it's actually been sat about there. So, that one there, we can see the mark on the other one as well. So, right about there roughly. So, over there, I think. Get the nuts. Caps over there, nuts and caps over there. Got the airfoil box out, giving it a clean out. The airfoil wasn't too bad, but it's good practice to change it anyway. You can clean all the box out then. Right, so wipers are back on, checked they're all good. Uh, just checking oil, so just doing the final top up. Should be all good now, I think. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. So that's where it should be, right? No way up the stick, <laughs> so it should stop somewhere in between those lines. Eh? Shouldn't go any further than those. So that's all good. I've obviously had this run as well. Um, so we've got to be trumpet actually. Put back on in the panel underneath. Hey, right, so we has a new sump plug. New sump plug in there, um, and it's all good. Seems all good. New spring. Yeah, the roll bar length. Don't know what my torch is. Uh, that's one there. There's the me big one. So I've done all tyre pressures as well. Obviously, I reckon probably the next bit on this car I'm probably going to be this exhaust. Uh, to be honest with you, these don't look like they're far away from breaking. Uh, nearly rotted right off it. So you see a new anti roll bar link there. New spring up there. Um, New belt, new water pump. Never looks good. No leaks. That's good. Uh, and the wee engine sounds okay. So uh, we just need to give this one a road test. Unless there's any dramas, should be all good in the hood. 
haven't already, hit the thumb, hit the subscribe man, have yourselves a great old day. Yeah, so I definitely think this exhaust will be next. It looks like somebody's put paste on it as well, so we had one in yesterday as well, I actually forgot about it. You can see these brackets here, eh? it's not going to be long until they're gone. Uh, the one yesterday they were gone, so the one yesterday had a subframe, so it's probably, you know, when they've taken the exhaust off it, they've just snapped because they're rotten. Um, so, and they've just not did anything about it, so the thing you can do is you can get a bit of straight, you know, a bar, you know, bend it, you know, a bit of threaded draw, just bend it, just put a U-clamp in there, it's a really quick fix. Um, you know, cheap fix, but it does need an exhaust, so this one needs an exhaust as well, so no much point in fixing brackets, so. Right, so a wee Corsa, all good, been a wee road test in it, uh, it's been running for quite a while, um, I've stamped the book as well, stamped the service book, reset the service light on it, um, we scanned it for fault codes, we didn't really find anything other than what I had unplugged, which was for the, the air box, uh, to be honest with you. Um, had a wee run, so we'll just, we'll leave it sitting there for an hour or two. We'll just let it, mon we'll monitor it and we'll see it, so we'll, we'll check back, you know, we'll crack on with some other stuff and we'll, we'll check back on it and just make sure, but we roasted the wee thing yesterday and it never, never uh, missed a beat, so I think it's going to be okay, to be honest with you. Right, so the wee course has been running for a fair old bit now, and no dramas, so we're going to switch her off now. Heaven seems all good there, so it's all good in the hood with that one. Happy days.